Hey friends, welcome back to She's in Her Apron. I am so excited for today because I'm collaborating with Noreen from Noreen's Kitchen. She is amazing. She was one of the first like cooks that I followed here on YouTube. I love watching her cook. She's so real and her recipes are yummy and down to earth and and they're, they're just so, she's captivating. She's so captivating and I just really enjoy her. So I'm really glad to get to know her and do this collaboration with her. And if you come over from Noreen's channel, hello, hello, I am so glad you're here. And I hope you stick around and hit that subscribe button and get to know me and our channel. The community here is amazing. So today, Noreen and I are gonna share with you some side dishes that you can add to your Thanksgiving meal or any meal during the fall season. So today I'm gonna to share with you a butternut apple cranberry quinoa salad. Oh my goodness, it is so good. I will have the original recipe link down below so you can get all the ingredients and measurements and all of that for you. Okay, let's get to making the salad because it is so good. For this recipe, you're gonna need one small to about a medium butternut squash, one medium sweet onion, two small honey crisp apples, quinoa, chicken broth, dried cranberries, chopped pecans, butter, pure maple syrup, cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, olive oil, apple cider vinegar, and salt and pepper to taste. Okay, you're gonna to wanna to peel your butternut squash. All I did was cut the ends off and then just start peeling it. Next, you're going to seed out your butternut squash. Okay, once you've done that, you're gonna cube it up. We are going to now dice up the onion. Okay, you're gonna take a baking sheet, line it with tin foil, spread your squash and onions throughout it. Okay, you're gonna take your four tablespoons of butter and melt them, and in the bowl, you're gonna add two tablespoons of pure maple syrup, and then you're gonna add one teaspoon of the cinnamon. You're gonna give this a mix. Okay, you're gonna take your butter and maple syrup cinnamon mixture and you're gonna brush it over the squash and onions. Okay, once that is done, you can sprinkle it with a little bit of salt and pepper if you like. We're gonna roast this for 25 minutes in a 400 degree oven. Okay, while you are roasting your squash and onions, you're going to get your quinoa ready. So um, I have already rinsed out my quinoa and I am going to get the chicken broth boiling. So you're just gonna cook it based on the instructions on the packet of your quinoa. So I got my two cups of the chicken broth. We're gonna get that boiling and add the quinoa in. Okay, I have the quinoa going. About 15 minutes into the baking of the squash and onions, you're gonna add the diced up honey crisp apples to it. Okay, let's get them back in for the rest of the time and get them going. Next, we're going to get the dressing ready for the salad. To a bowl, you are going to add two tablespoons of maple syrup, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons of olive oil. And for the spices, you're going to add a teaspoon of cinnamon, an eighth a teaspoon of the ginger, ground ginger, and also an eighth a teaspoon of the nutmeg. Okay, you're gonna mix this together. You can also add a little pinch of salt and pepper in there if you'd like. Okay, you're gonna add your roasted onions, squash, and apples to a bowl. You're gonna add your quinoa. Now this made a lot. I don't know if I'm gonna use it all, but um, we'll see. And then you're gonna add your pecans and craisins. And you're gonna add that dressing. Okay, and we're just gonna mix this up all together. And you're gonna serve this nice and warm. Mm, the heat are gonna make those um, craisins come alive and bring the flavor out. It's gonna be great. This is really good. 
So if you'd like to see where I originally got the recipe, the link is down below. But I think this is a perfect side dish to your next meal or Thanksgiving coming up. Well, thanks for joining me today. Thank you, Noreen, for collaborating with me. You are a doll as usual. And I hope you guys make this salad and give it a shot. So thanks again for joining me, and you have a happy Thanksgiving. Happy planning. We'll see ya. Bye.